back to the vlog. We have not talked in a really long time, it feels like. Um, I honestly feel like it's been like, has it almost been a month since I've uploaded? Like that's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, we're here, welcome back. Um, it is Friday, it's Friday, September the 8th. Um, and yeah, it's basically been like a month, that is insane. Oh, my camera. I have a little tripod in my car for when I'm driving, but it, I feel like has broken and it doesn't like hold my phone anymore. So it kind of has to be like Jimmy rigged, propped up. So it's going to fall a lot. So I apologize. But anyways, it is Friday, September the 8th. And I wanted to upload a kind of a vlog before I just jump right into like Disney content, like trip content. Um, because I filmed a haul right when we got home and I just didn't upload it right away just because kind of life happened and we got busy and I just haven't had time to edit it but I'm planning on editing it this weekend but I was kind of like I don't really want to just like come back with a haul you know also I obviously have not rubbed in my dry shampoo well enough today <laughs> I was like maybe I'll just film a little like daily vlog today because we have some things happening today I have to, like I have an appointment to go to today I have to do a little bit of running around and then I'm gonna like be reorganizing some stuff in our house so yeah I figured maybe I'd just bring you guys along today give you a little update some life updates some stuff is like kind of changing a little bit so um I haven't really figured everything out yet but I'm just gonna update you all now um but yeah I have my coffee I just got Starbucks and I also got a bagel a great Canadian bagel um because so my appointment's at 10 it is 8 20 so I had to leave the house at 8 today because my mom is getting our driveway re resealed at like 8 30 ish so I'm like I'm in the garage so if we go to like if I was to go to leave at the time I needed to leave at the drive would have been sealed and I wouldn't have been able to leave so I'm like okay well I'll just leave early so I'm just going to sit here and read my book I'm currently reading fourth wing and I am obsessed with it I read it like I think it was like last weekend on Monday because it was a long weekend I read it literally the entire day um and I'm obsessed and I haven't really had a chance to read it since I think I've read like maybe two chapters since then just because we're busy during the week um but I, yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna read that. I'm just gonna sit here in my car, eat my bagel, have my coffee and just sit. But I figure I'd give you guys a quick little update right here. So I don't really know like too much of how much I can like kind of explain because this isn't just something that's like updated with like Austin in my life. It's like, there's like multiple people involved. So I don't really wanna like air out everybody's stuff online. But basically, um, there's just been some changes around like our house, like our living situation where we're still living in the same place, but there's just been some changes. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to vlog as much as I would love to. And already I don't vlog a lot at home just because like we're in my mom's space and I don't really want to like bother her. And like, sometimes I just feel awkward like vlogging in front of my mom too, obviously. Um, so like I only really vlog on the weekends or like when she's not there or when I'm home alone. Um, but there's just going to be more times now where I'm not going to really be able to have like alone time at home. So I don't really know how many, like how many vlogs are going to be coming anymore. Um, and I hate that I'm being really vague about it, but just like understand that it's just like privacy. Um, so yeah, so I, I don't really know how many more vlogs are going to happen. Like obviously when I'm like out and about and I can vlog, I'm going to because I love vlogging. It's literally like my favorite thing to do. Um, but there just might not be as many. And I don't know yet, like who knows, like maybe everything will work out and I'll be able to vlog just as much as I have in the past. Um, yeah, we're just, I'm not sure yet. We're figuring things out. Um, and with that, I still want to upload videos and like I kind of toyed like truthfully I toyed with the idea of like okay well maybe I just stop filming like daily kind of content lifestyle kind of content and we'll just film when we go to Disney and like that'll be fine because obviously I love filming oops just threw my elastic I love filming Disney content and we love vlogging our trips like it's again like one of our favorite things to do um so like maybe I'll just do that maybe I'll just not film at all but I'm like no because I really do love to film and like I like to edit and like Austin was saying like it's like my creative outlet so he's like you shouldn't just like give that up so the idea was toyed with but ultimately I'm going to try my best to make it work 
but with that the content is going to change slightly so instead of like I said a lot more vlogs there's going to be maybe more just kind of like sit down videos or more like curated videos um I really want to start doing book content and I have wanted to in the past but every time I've tried to film them I get like really self-conscious by them um so I'm like I don't know maybe I'll start filming more book content um there might just be more like sporadic kind of videos or vlogs I don't know I really don't know what kind of content I'm gonna be able to make but I'm gonna try my best and we'll just kind of see how it goes so this little while might be a bit of a um adjustment um and you might notice like some changes in my channel but just kind of wanted to give you an update and I know it's really vague so I do apologize for that but anyway so that's like my little life update. Um, but from that, it really looks like I'm, I keep looking in my rear view mirror and it really looks like we're going to get like a huge storm here in a minute. And I didn't think it was going to rain today, but I might be very wrong. And in that case, I have like not dressed appropriately for the weather at all. Disney vlogs are going to start soon. So my plan is I filmed a haul of everything that we got while we were there. I also want to film another like pin trading video. We didn't trade. We traded a lot of pins for sure, but we didn't trade nearly as many as like I anticipated we would trade or like wanted to trade. Um, and Austin, of course, came out way more successful than I did. He always finds so many more pins than I do. I feel like my collections are just so like hard to find. I don't know. Austin's collections are very, like, there's a lot of pins for Austin's collection and mine are just, like, so small. Like, turning red. There's only, like, a handful of turning red pins, you know? So, anyways. So, we're gonna film that video and then, um, those are, like, the two videos I wanted to film. I also wanted to film, like, a trip recap with Austin. Um, so I think we'll do that. Um, and just kind of, like, chit-chat about our trip and, like, reflect on it and stuff. Um, and then that's kind of like it that I'm thinking about for trip content like like related um and then the vlogs will start coming um and I'm going to see and try my best I ideally wanted to do like one regular video and then like two vlogs a day or a week because we were there for 14 days like there's a lot of vlog content I'm like really concerned about why it's so like cloudy back there because there a fire just need to like ignore it and stop getting worked up um what was I saying oh yeah so because there's so many vlogs I'm like oh my gosh if I do one a week like these are this is gonna last like until like January like it's just gonna be crazy how how long this is gonna go for so then I was thinking okay well maybe we could do like two a week um but that is gonna put a lot of pressure on me for editing and uploading so we'll see what happens i like to bulk edit so i like to have like at least two weeks ahead for the disney vlogs um just because they take me longer to edit just because there's like way more footage than normal um so we'll see what happens i'm gonna do at least one a week and then maybe the odd week we'll get two i don't really know we'll see what happens but um but yeah so anyways yeah that's like the major things i guess to update you guys on so today on the agenda for today i've been talking and rambling um for the for the agenda today i'm gonna sit and hang out for a bit have my coffee have my bagel read my book for like probably about another like it's 8 30 so it's like another hour 45 minutes ish and then i have to go to my appointment and i don't know how long my appointment's gonna be it's like a quick appointment it's just like I have to like I had to get like I have to get results back for something which also I might be able to update you on later um I have to get results back for something and it's very like time-based they, they say like when you go like you could be in and out within like 20 minutes or you could be there for two hours so the earlier in the day you go the better um but I think their first appointments start at eight so I'm like mm, that kind of sucks because I'm going to be two hours. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But after that, I have to go to Indigo. One, because there is a sale on books and it's buy three, get the fourth free, which isn't like the best sale, but I mean, it's 25% off. So like ideally. Um, so I have to do that. I also have to look for my sister-in-law's birthday present because it's her birthday party tomorrow. It's not her actual like birthday tomorrow, but it's her birthday party tomorrow. Is it her birthday tomorrow? No. <laughs> Oh, we have to go back and I have to show you, we redid one of the little rooms in my mom's house. Um, not redid it. We just like decorated it and like made it 
for me now. So if you guys have followed along for a while or, or if you're new here, um, in the basement, Austin has like his gaming area. So we have like a couple couches down there and then we had his computer and then also my computer. And I just hate the basement. I don't like it. I don't like it down there. It's unfinished. It's cold. It's dark. There's like no sunlight. It feels very like depressing to me. And I'm very much somebody who's like affected by the weather. So I'm and like outside. So I'm like, I need natural light all the time. Like I literally will go crazy if I don't. So I never wanted to go down there. So anyways, we have this extra room in our house that my mom had as like her little, like she originally had it as like a yoga studio essentially in the room, but she never used it. So for the longest time I like asked and asked and I was like, can we, can I please use that room? Can I please do that room? And she always said, no, she's like, no, it's my yoga studio. But then finally she was like, okay, yeah, fine. Because she doesn't ever use it. So we've put my computer up there. We made a little window seat. Um, it like, it seriously, it looks so good. I love it so much. And it's just going to be my little, like I keep, I call it like my my playroom or like my hobby room and it's just gonna have all my stuff in there I have like my crocheting in there which I'm hoping to get back into in the like fall and winter and it has like my computers in there I have my bookshelf in there now we have that little window seat so I just like sit we have like my Nintendo switch we have a TV in there like it's so nice so I have to show you guys that but I have to organize the drawers in there because we move my desk upstairs and I just like want to make everything a little bit more like cohesive um so I'm just gonna do that today and and then that's like basically it really but it's gonna the room is gonna take a while um but anyways okay I'm gonna stop rambling now because now I'm just being like annoying and I'm just gonna drink my coffee sit here and chill and you also probably are wondering why don't you just go sit in the parking lot of where your appointment is because right now I'm in the parking lot of like our um Zares and I would have gone and sat in that parking lot but you have to pay for that parking and I'm not about to pay for two hours of parking when I'm probably only going to be there for about 30 minutes so yeah so anyways that's where we're at I'm gonna go now I keep one one blabbering but yeah come along with me I'm excited to talk to you guys again I'm sorry excited to vlog again um yeah okay hello long time not talk so updates went to the appointment so I guess I can talk about now um so about almost three months ago I went to a dermatologist's office because I had this spot on my finger um that you can't really see that well but anyways it's right here and I've had this for honestly years and I've never went and got it checked out but if you take anything from this video <laughs> if you have anything on your skin that is abnormal go get it looked at by a doctor um, so anyways, I went to a doctor about three months ago, they had a look at it and she said it could either be, um, like a wart or it could be skin cancer. So that was scary. <laughs> so for the last three months, I've been a little bit nervous. Um, I had a biopsy done about a month and a bit ago. It was like right before we went to Disney. It was like a couple, I think it was like three weeks before we went to Disney. Um, so anyway, so had the biopsy done. Took a while for me to get my results back, but today was what the appointment was to go and see what my results were. So it is not cancer, thank goodness. Um, but it is basically, she said, an old wart. <laughs> so she said at some point you had a wart and it's gone away, it's not there anymore, but you just have this like dead skin cells on your skin and that's why it looks like this and I hate it and I want it removed so she said the only way to get it removed is either using just like a compound W from like a drugstore or um I have to like go and get it like freezed off if you've ever had warts before like on your feet or whatever they like use that like mm, I think it's like nitrous spray um nitrous oxide I'm pretty sure but anyways she said you can do either or um but the nitrous when you go to the doctor is like really expensive so I'm opting right now for just like the compound W that you can get from the drugstore, which I picked up today. So I'm going to put that on my finger and hopefully it goes away. She said it could take up to a year or multiple years to go away. So hopefully it doesn't take that long, but you never know. But I'm just glad it's not skin cancer. So that's a plus. So after that, I then went to get some stuff for my sister-in-law for her birthday, um, which I guess I can show you because this will be going out after her birthday. So I can show you. She's obsessed with these cute little sunny angels, which are like these little babies. I have a bunch of them in my room too. Also, we're in the new room. I'll show you. Um, but anyways, she got that. And then um, also got her... Cooper, that's rude. <laughs> also got her this little pouch that they were selling that you can fit. 
your sunny angels into and then you can bring them around with you so i got her that cute little thing and then i also got her a little birthday card that says happy birth tay <laughs> so i got her that stuff from this little like boutique store and then um i also went to indigo because like i said they were having a sale so they were having buy three get the fourth free um so anyways for my sister-in-law i got her the barbie record because she is obsessed with the barbie movie i think she went and saw it three or four times in theaters she honestly might have gone more and i might be like making her sad if she's gone more than four times but anyways got her the record and this is the pink vinyl the hot pink vinyl so i think she's gonna love it so i got that for her for her birthday so i need to wrap that up for her um and then my <laughs> compound w um and then from the indigo so I have wanted to start the Throne of Glass series since I finished Avatar, so basically since the beginning of this year. And I was like, I want to start it, but I was like, I'm only going to get them when they're on sale because it's a big series and it's a thing. And then they changed all the covers and then I was like, oh, I kind of want the new covers. And then I was like, maybe I'll just wait for a box set to come out of the paperback of the new covers because there's like huge books and I feel like it'd be really hard to read them as, um, what's it called? Hard, hard covers. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I went there. They had every single book from the series other than Throne of Glass. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just buy four of them here and then I can buy four online and then I can still get the buy three, get one free. I go and check online. It's available online, but the sale is not online. It's only in store. So I was like, dang it. So what I ended up doing, which is still a discount, it's like still a deal. I ended up getting all seven books that they had. Um, and then as my like eighth book that I would have like the second fourth book that I got for free I ended up picking up Crescent City so I got all the books and I know I'm not going to show you the order but anyways so we got Crown of Midnight like I said I know these aren't in order <laughs> Empire of Stone Storms um Tower of Dawn Air of Fire. These covers are stunning. Queen of Shadows. Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. <laughs> um, Kingdom of Ash. This is a monster. How I am going to read this, I do not know. Oh, there's almost a thousand pages. That's insane. <laughs> Okay, so Kingdom of Ash and Assassin's Blade and then Crescent City, which I also do want to read. So I'm like, okay, it's not that bad because I was planning on buying these things anyways and I'm like, I ended up being good. So all together, which I will say, let's just open. So all together, including the record, eight books plus a record, it was 185. So I got each of the books for basically 17 they're all kind of different prices between 16 and 19 dollars each when normally they're 25 dollars each and that's with the discount on the buy three get the fourth free plus i have plum plus so you get 10 percent off on top of that so it's pretty good honestly like i'm pretty happy with it and like i said i know i'm gonna read them so i'm excited but i probably won't start these until cooper just got his nose all over this i'm not gonna start them until i finish fourth wing which should be this weekend i'm planning on reading it tonight so i'm hoping that i can like make a big dent in it because actually i have it here um how far am i I'm on page 309 of Fourth Wing, and I think there's 500 pages. I don't want to spoil. Uh, 4.94, so over halfway. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is the bedroom, so I'm going to show you guys quickly. It's kind of messy because I obviously just got home and I like put everything down. Okay, so here it is. Here is the bedroom. <laughs> I freaking love it so the walls were already painted um and the floor was already here but everything else we've brought in so 
This was from the other bedroom. This was from the basement that we hadn't been using. This shelf actually my mom had and then I just put my Funkos on it. And then we got the pegboard and the shelf from Ikea, the desk top from Ikea. And then we already had the drawers and then two of the legs, we had to buy one extra leg because it's a huge desk as you can see. Um, lamp I already had, cart I already had. And then we ended up actually making this cushion. Sorry, there's like construction outside of our house. Um, I also I made this little cushion and it's literally perfect. The bench was already here, like the wooden part. Um, and it actually opens up so there's storage underneath, which is awesome. Um, and then rug is from Ikea. And then my bookshelf. And we have everything here. And I still have room, so I'm going to put all my throne of glass in here. Um, but yeah, anyways. I am obsessed with it. I think it is so cute. I love it so much. I feel like I'm going to use my desk so much more now. And... I'm just very happy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on probably the TV. I'm going to eat my lunch. I have egg salad sandwich here, half of one. because We only had one slice of toast or bread, um, but I'm going to do that. And then I am going to probably do my drawers because I have to get through that. Um, and yeah. That's that's the game plan so far. I'm going to go through my drawers and watch some shows. YouTube, probably. But yeah, anyways, that's all. finished organizing the drawers they look so much better the bottom drawer is definitely um a mess still but we finished organizing i put my books on my shelf i'm only missing uh throwing a glass but i did place the order so it should be here i think it's on the 13th so next week sometime um but i'll give you a little tour of the drawers <laughs> i'm watching brianna i'm catching up on her vlogs um okay I'm gonna give you a little tour. So, um, oh, don't mind my egg salad up here. This all needs to go downstairs. <laughs> um, so here is the, what is that? It's like glue or something. Okay. Um, anyways, these are the drawers. These are the Alex drawers from Ikea. So in the top drawer, we have, I feel like my camera like never focuses well anymore. But anyways, okay. Top drawer, we have my little stamps stamp pad some markers um more brush markers markers pens you know just things to grab that was my knee cracking wasn't a toot it was my knee <laughs> um <laughs> in this drawer i have all my washi tapes um i have like glue dots um little tweezers for putting stickers down some paper clips, my Canon mini printer, which I love, um, and then just like random like floss uh, nail file and lip balm because I find I always want those three things when I'm sitting at my desk for whatever reason. And then this is the sticker drawer. Literally, I'm not going to go through all the stickers, but we have like some like mismatch stickers and then a lot of like happy planner sticker books back here. And then again, like small shops mismatched items back there 
this is kind of a mess but it's my own mess it is the electronics drawer so all my electronics live in here and then this is the mess of a drawer but you know it is what it is everybody has one okay so now what i'm gonna do i don't really know I kind of want to go sit in the hot tub because what's the temperature? It's 18 degrees out, but it feels kind of cold. Like it feels like very crisp, but I'm like, maybe I wait and I sit in the hot tub later. Like I feel like that is a better option. Um, but I have this bag of garbage to throw out. Cooper's toys need to go into a bin, but the bin has not been cleared out yet. It's fine. Um, but I think actually maybe I'll just lay down and read for a bit because I just want to chill and just relax and it's three o'clock now My mom's gonna be home in like an hour and then Austin won't be home until like 5 30 um, So I won't make dinner until then anyway, so maybe I'll just sit back. I'll keep on the vlog. I'll read um, See how far I can get in fourth wing And yeah, I feel like that's what I will do I think this is a really like chill vlog, so I hope you're okay with it. Not too busy.